Namaskar. I graduated from law degree at the criminal law from University of Indonesia. So this is my university. And my master's in international relations, focusing in ASEAN study. For me, I've been always interested in learning. But I know everyone has their own style of learning. And I figure out my way of learning is from people, connected with people, people to people. So since 2008, I've been engaging with a lot of communities, NGOs, organizations, having an events like you guys, you know, in here, and then competing with a lot of, uh, a lot of competitions, a lot of seminars, within Indonesia. But if you don't know where is exactly my country is, I'm going to tell you a little bit about Indonesia. So we are the biggest Muslim population in the world. We have one, more than 1,300 tribes in Indonesia, with more than 1,200 local languages. So engaging with Indonesian young people even though we are coming with the same academic background, but when we have one perspective, it comes with a different kind of perspective. The question is why? Because we're coming from a various cultural background. So I reckon that it's not only the people, the way I'm learning, but also connecting with their culture. My curiosity brought me to a perspective that I, can't, I don't want to stop learning just within my people in my country, but also the people outside Indonesia. I want to know what's going on outside Indonesia. So, but then coming from a Muslim background family, not too conservative, not too modern, not too poor and not too rich as well, my mom will not allow me to go all alone abroad without any specific reasons. So I have to figure out the way. How am I going to go abroad? So I applied with thousands of competitions, forums, seminars, okay? A lot of paperwork, motivation letters, went through a lot of interviews, a lot of rejections, too much. And in 2012, I was selected as the first and the only one representative from Indonesia to attend the International Young Women's Summit in Munich, Germany. So, I was, well, finally, I got it. And the organizer happily to provide me with a week accommodation in Munich, in Germany. But the problem start. Okay, so I got permission from my parents, but then, they couldn't help me with the travel because I have to pay my own travel from Jakarta to Munich. And um, I tried to negotiate with the, I tried to negotiate with the um, organizer, and they say, "I'm really sorry, we couldn't help you with the return ticket." So I was about to stop because I was a full-time student. I was 19 years old, and I didn't have a sort of an income. But then I believe this, the greatest failure is not to try. So what I do, okay, I made a proposal, nothing to lose. I made a proposal, I went to the companies, the companies, offices to offices, made calls, waiting one week, two weeks, no responses. I went to my university, I spoke to my dean, and I was hoping I will be getting help from my dean. He helped me, but with advice. So he said, you have to know exactly what do you want and target the right one. So I was thinking, I want a written ticket from Jakarta to Munich, right? So it means I need to go to the airlines company. I went to the Garuda Indonesia Airlines, our national airlines, and I gave them my proposal and I said, look, before you reject my proposal, please give me one chance to speak about how this conference means for me. 
waiting for one, two days, three days, no response, no call. So I waited for five days, finally there's a call. All right, Agita, we would like to have you for an interview. I went to the office, no surprise. The question is, why do we have to give you the return ticket? So my answer was, I've been in affiliations with many organizations, but on top of what I will be doing after this program, it's our pride to have the only one representative from our country. But beyond that, this is your contribution to contribute as a better future generation for our nation. I went back home. We did again, two days, three days, five days, then 10 days. There's no calls, no emails, and then the marketing of the director called me and then, have you checked your email? And then he said, we just sent you a written ticket. So this 19 years old Indonesian young woman finally made her way, flew all the way from Jakarta to Munich all alone for the first time. I was nervous, I was excited, but I was afraid. I've seen things that I've never seen before. But then, once I reached there, the good thing is about this program and make me completely become an unforgettable memory for me because I met people from all over the world. Young women now become my sisterhood. And we share stories about how girls issue around the world, discrimination, exploitation about women in Nigeria that's also happening in Indonesia. And I realized that as a young woman, we have lots of power and we are capable of accomplishing more than society expects from us. But another thing, and this conference it gives me as well, is me as a 19 years old young woman from Indonesia, not a native English, stood on the stage overcome to my public speaking fear, spoke to the 1,700 conference participants at the eldest summit, spoke about my opinions and thoughts. And one thing that I learned about foreign language, a foreign language is a sign of bravery. And every language has its own power and its own value to change the world. That's what I learned from my visit to the United Nations headquarters in Geneva and uh, Council of Europe in France. So we know that the world is constantly changing. And we need these attitudes, this knowledge, and these skills. But what kind of attitudes, knowledge, and skills? In my visit in 2014 to the United States of America for the first time, um, as a Hansen Fellow. So Hansen promotes peace and global security among young leaders all over the world. I met amazing young people from India, from Pakistan, from Russia, from Ukraine, from Mexico, and from Israel. This program taught me how to be diplomatic in everyday lives talking about public diplomacy in America. But this also taught me about being a good leader, I have to value diversity and pluralism opinions. Not only this, it was my first time experience Ramadan in America, fasting for 17 hours, and my Christian American roommate, Alana, she never forget to wake me up every single morning to have my sahur. This means also, born and growing up in Indonesia, living in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, being a Muslim, it doesn't mean I have to stop having a friend from Israel and learning about Jewish. This experience of connecting people from various backgrounds that have gifted me tremendous growth as a person, and I believe as a global citizen as well. So, visiting 25 countries, 
participating for more than 25, 50 international um, conferences, seminars. Overcome my public speaking fear, overcome my fear about rejections. But also, I miss the trains. There is an opportunity. I mean, like, I got a food poisoning, miss trains, cancel connecting flights, but I leave. I learn to be adaptable, to learn and to grow. So, this is my six times in India, and I simply want to thank to all the Indians that I met in here along my journey. Thank you to my friends that I met in Manipur, Manipuri, Kashmiri, Assamis. Thank you for showing me how to embrace diversity and to celebrate it. And thank you for the friends that I met who, born, who is from Syria, from Iraq, German Iraqi, Indian Emirati, to tell me story that I never read in any news. On my way back from Young Diplomats Forum in 2017, from London, I flew back and I have a long transit in Istanbul. So I went out and uh, I went to see the Blue Moles, yeah? And then I met Hassan. Hassan is a myth lover. So I asked him, what is exactly behind this Sufi dance? And this is exactly what he said. It calls for love and unity, unity of all of the people. I never planned I'll be traveling in this way. I never imagined that I will be traveling and meeting amazing young people, uh, connecting with the people with the passion. So it feels like the whole journey teaches me to learn how to live the life. This universe teach me the important aspect of life and faces me of myself that I wouldn't, fee, I wouldn't find staying in one place. And whatever the reason of learning process that you will do, either you will be traveling with academic travel or adventurous, but make sure this journey will make you be a better version of yourself and a better citizen for our life, for our future. Thank you.